Hello students, let's do constructions exercise 23b. In this exercise, we're going to make use of set squares. And a set squares are generally of two types. As you can see, we have one here which, have, which has angles of 45 degrees and 90 degrees. And this is the 90 degree part. This is 90 degrees. And we have 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here. So if you have to get angles of 45 degrees or 90 degrees, we make use of this set square. This set square we make use of. We have the second type of set square, which has angles of 30 degrees here. This is 30 degrees. Then here we have 60 degrees. And this also has a 90 degree angle, used to measure 90 degree angle. Now, you can use one of these set squares or both in combination if you need to get a particular angle. So let's begin with question 1. Exercise 23b is on page number 235. So let's look at question 1. Draw a line segment OA equals 5 centimeters. Use set squares to construct an angle of 60 degrees AOB such that OB is 3 centimeters. Then we need to join AB and measure the length of AB. So let's go slow and do it step by step. So first step, draw a line segment OA. So we have a line segment here OA and using your ruler you need to measure 5 centimeters and draw this line segment. So we have OA equals 5 centimeters. Second step, place the suitable set square in such a way that the edge containing 60 degrees coincides with the line segment OA. So this is line segment OA. You have to use the particular set square, the suitable one which has 60 degrees and place it along the line segment OA. So let's do that. So this is our set square and this is the one that has 60 degrees. Use the one that has 60 degrees and this side is 30 degrees and here we have 90 degrees. So the edge that contains 60 degrees has to be placed along the line segment OA like this. Then what's the next step? Draw a line along the edge of the set square. So this is the edge of the set square. We're going to draw a line along the edge of the set square. So we have drawn a line along that and mark 60 degrees. So we already have 60 degrees here. Now, so we have finished the first part. Use set squares to construct angle AOB 60 degrees such that OB is 3 centimeters. Now, let's continue. Let's remove our set squares now because we already have a line there and we have 60 degrees. And we're going to do the second part. OB equals 3 centimeters. So we have that. We've removed the set squares. We have OA. We have 60 degrees marked here. Now, how do we get OB equals 3 centimeters? For that, you have to measure a radius of 3 centimeters on your compass. Place it on O as a center. You must take O as a center and cut an arc on the line drawn. This is the line that you drew. So, place it on O and cut an arc on this line. And how do you get this arc? it should have a radius of 3 centimeters. So keep the needle of your compass at O and cut an arc on this line here. So let's do that. So we've cut that arc. Can you see we've drawn an arc which has cut that line. Now mark that intersecting point as B. So there is an intersecting point. Mark that as B. So let's go back to the question. So OB is 3 centimeters. So let's write that now. So this portion OB is now 3 centimeters. We have measured that on the compass and done it. Next part of the question says join A and B. So now we have A here and B here. We can join AB. So join AB. We have joined it. Then the next part of the question is measure the length of AB. So we have A and B here. Now take your ruler and measure the length of AB. So that will be your final answer. So we've done all that is asked of us in the question. We constructed an angle of 60 degrees using 
set squares then we marked 3 cm on this line so we got B we joined A and B now you have to measure the length of AB using your ruler let's go on to the next question question 2 draw a line segment OP equals 8 cm this time use set squares to construct POQ of 90 degrees such that OQ is 6 cm then join P and Q and measure the length of PQ. So again, let's go slow. Let's start with the first part. Draw a line segment OP equals 8 centimeters. So let's do that. Draw a line segment OP equals 8 centimeters. So let's write down this is a measurement. This is 8 centimeters. Then place a suitable set square. What do we mean when we say suitable? You have to use the one that will give you this particular measurement. Because there are two you have two types of set squares there so here place the set suitable one in such a way that the edge containing 90 degrees coincides with the line segment OP it should be kept in line along this line OP so let's do that so we have put our set square there now draw a line along the edge of the set square so first place your set square like this it should be along this line now we have the 90 degree here. We are asked to draw a 90 degree angle. So we have placed the 90 degree edge here. Now draw a line along the edge of this set square. Along this edge. So a line has been drawn. So now we have got 90 degrees. So we have done the first part of the question. We have got 90 degrees. Now we have to see that OQ is 6 centimeters, so we need to mark OQ here. We need to mark Q. O is already there, and that should be 6 centimeters. So now let's remove our set squares and continue this question. So we've removed our set squares. Now we have O and P. We have 90 degrees marked here. Now we need to do the rest of it. So for this, measure a radius of 6 centimeters on the compass. Place it on O as the center and cut an arc on the line drawn. So we're going to place it at O and cut an arc on this line. That should be 6 centimeters. So place the needle of your compass here. Take the measurement 6 centimeters on your compass and draw an arc which will cut this line. So let's do that. So we have drawn an arc and that has cut that line. Mark that intersecting point as Q. The point where the arc has cut the line, we'll mark it as Q. Now join Q and P. That's part of the question. Join P, Q. So P is here and Q is here. Let's join P, Q. So we have P, Q. We have joined P, Q. Now the last part of the question is, then measure the length of P, Q. So now play, take your ruler, place it along Q, P. Along this length, place your ruler and get the measurement of QP. You've been asked to measure the length of PQ. So, uh, we have completed everything. We've drawn the line segment. We constructed POQ, 90 degrees, and we've joined PQ. Now, you need to measure the length of PQ. Let's go on to the next question. Draw angle PQR equals 75 degrees by using set squares. Now, when you saw the set squares, I'm sure you noticed we don't have an angle of 75 degrees on any of the set squares. So, we have to use two set squares, combine and get 75 degrees. That is, we can use a set square that shows us 45 degrees and we can use a set square that gives us 30 degrees. When you add up both, you get 75 degrees. So, here we're going to use two set squares. So, let's begin. Draw a line segment QR. So we have a line segment here. Let's name it QR. Let's continue. Place a suitable set square in such a way that the edge containing 45 degrees coincides with the line segment QR. So we have QR here. Take the set square that has 45 degrees and put it along this line. So let's do that. So there we have the 45 degree set square. We have put it along this line. Now, this is 45 degrees. This is 45 degrees. Now, this is also 45 degrees. So, this will be 90 
degrees. So that is 90 degrees. So we are looking at this edge. We are looking at this 45 degrees. So we already have 45. Now we need to get 30 degrees. So let's continue and see how to put 30 degrees set square here. So let's do that. So here, place the other set square in such a way that the edge containing 30 degrees coincides with the edge of the first set square. So here we have the second set square. Can you see? Now this second set square, here we have 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So together 45 plus 30 will give us 75 degrees. So the first set square is kept like this. The second set square is kept along this line. Now what do we have to do? Draw a line along the edge of the set square. This is the second set square. Draw a line along this edge and we're going to extend it. So a line is drawn and we're going to extend it and name it P. So now we have got a 75 degree angle and we have used two set squares to get this. So that is the first part. Now we need to go on to the second part of the question. So let's remove the set squares and continue with the second part of our question. So here, yes, as you know, 45 degrees plus 30 degrees is 75 degrees. So we have to mark the 75 degrees. So here you can remove the 35 and 45 and instead together mark this as 75 degrees. So now let's go ahead and continue. So here we have got 75 degrees after adding both. We've got 75 degrees. Now we have to follow the instructions. On PQ, mark a point M. So where is PQ? This is PQ. On this, we have to mark a point M such that MQ is 3 centimeters. We need to get 3 centimeters. So for that, what do we do? We measure a radius of 3 centimeters on the compass, place it on Q and cut an arc on PQ. So we have cut an arc on PQ. As you can see, this arc is there on PQ and this is 3 centimeters. 3 centimeters according to the instructions given in the question. Then mark that inter intersecting point as M. So the intersecting point is here where you see that the, the arc and the line have met and we have named it M according to the question. Now let's continue with the question. Mark a point N. This time you have to mark a point N such that QN, you have to mark it on QR, such that QN is 4 centimeters. So instructions have to be followed. So measure a radius of 4 centimeter on the compass Place it on Q and cut an arc on QR, 4 centimeters on QR. So let's do that. So we have cut an arc here, as you can see, we've cut an arc and this is 4 centimeters. Then the instructions say join MN. So we, let's name this. Let's name this part as N. So as you can see, we already have N there. Join M and N. We have M here and N here, N is here and M is there. We have to join M, N. So let's do that. Join M, N and use a ruler and measure the length of M, N. Keep your ruler on M, N, N on this line and use your ruler and measure this. So we have completed this question. We have drawn an angle of 75 de degrees using two set squares one to get 45 degrees and the other to get 30 degrees. Then on PQ, that is PQ, we marked a point M such that MQ is 3 centimeters. Then on QR, we marked a point N such that QN is 4 centimeters. Then we joined M and N. And now you have to measure the length of M and N using your ruler. So with that, children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.